Talk show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest! <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming berry net show possible. So our theme is <laughs> Technology in Fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Oh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant! It's brilliant! Uh. <laughs> I think you better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt that's also a video screen. Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows. And what the hair cam films will be you demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry? What if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry. In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginner's best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, <laughs> order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's just a surprise. <laughs> to the morning, 
so I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go! I have to finish three pedicures, three berry bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials. on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm sweet, she's sour. We're sweet and sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm, 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 that's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Dice dates a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get them down while well, Papa and Mama's So, I know we just met and we barely know you. But how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. 
I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm -hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history! peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already... Uh, wait, who... What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my... I mean... our specials. Today we have sweets, banana, butter, squash, bleh, I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad, mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special, the other chef made it, but <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue, or I should say fondue. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy, ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! I was supposed to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, finished with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace, and she's not. Oh, she must have went her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> a pyramid. Oh, I have never served pyramids in my cafe. Oh, dear. Who are these people? Is there something oh, wrong with your papaya pyramid? If someone would just tell me, what is... I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Uh, we sort of, kind of... We would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs. Especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> the dinner! We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. Uh, I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? <laughs> oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. <sighs> Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Read deeply. 
Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, oh, what is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Tickle Bun. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Uh-uh. Not really. So, let's try a word association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure! Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise, it's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Belts and berries, that's it! Do you have any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend lemon verbena and skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> I'd like to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barakin, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me. It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh, well, that was. But this isn't. Ah! <gasps> uh, my apron. My apron that you stole. Oh, really? Then if you were wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron. <gasps> you call this a parsley puff? You, you, sous chef? Sous chef? Oh, take that! Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Hmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. And they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings, and we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. 
Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, we aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! So stormy night. Everything was quiet in the sleepy little town. No one knew it then, but strange things were about to happen. Stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. <laughs> Oh, good, my goodness me! How could it? It couldn't! But it is! How peculiar! What a mystery! Raspberry, blueberry, orange blossom! It's time to get going! It's a very beautiful day for a swim! We don't want to miss a minute! What are we fighting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! Blueberry. Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh... Blueberry! Aha! Yikes! Hi, Strawberry, Raspberry. Come in, come in! Happy to have. Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. 
And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today. I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come quick, come see. Berry can bloom. What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere. It's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one? I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can can you do anything? Hmm. Maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well... Guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, yeah. check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. I wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like, <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself. Why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence! We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you going to join us for the hike? You might want to change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. 
something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> oh, oh. You mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platus Spotus, <gasps> and it's spreading! Oh, indeed it is. My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work. Does that mean all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. This might work. <laughs> Break and Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night, Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there! I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer. In one of your books? No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> Blueberry? Uh -huh. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And your criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew 
that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what do we think? There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there. What's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person, they haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more. Your missing person is as good as found. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close. It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Wait, no! Right. It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! <laughs> Just look, look, look! Plan to spot us a spread to everything. That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse. And watch this, it gets worse. <laughs> Glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. According to 
this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there. Page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. Oh, I hope this works. Give it a second. I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mud pies. Okay, tell me again what you saw but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? On a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. Lollops? <gasps> well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, kind of... licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Uh, oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Berry Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. And I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Is 
this how guests behave? <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> So, you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile, getting dogs adopted. Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. Aww. That is quite admirable. Eh, uh, Mr. Huckleberry! Eh, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. <sighs> well... I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys. before lunch? Oh, uh, could we make it dinner? Uh, is this part of my bedsheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> Need some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! Okay, you are gonna look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here, see? Okay, now you try, come on, boy. Oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Uh, uh, the waltz part comes later. Uh, well, it 
least you hit your mark. We came to help. You name it. And we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really missed carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Huckleberry! Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Lecture Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite, moving to musical innards. <laughs> Inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great! Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is move to your inner music. So just close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings the bliss of your brain waves and then go with it hi huck hi strawberry <laughs> Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet, you can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. Together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Divine! That dog can sing! Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry, what's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? 
Bring it on. Can't wait. Well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely. Oh, I love it. something. Can you smell? That's okay. Keep going. You're getting warm. Warmer. Ah, ah, cold! Cold! What is that? Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold! <sighs> <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea, my favorite. Is it really, or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon? She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right. Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right. You really do like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Like them? I collect them. I've got them all, all but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian, Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller. Thriller. I have. It. You do? B it, it just now, it only just... Huh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? You can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. If you make me a promise, no more pretending everything is your favorite, Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Sniffer. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, a raspberry? Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. 
Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hey, Orange. Oh, morning. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I trade on your dog? Absolutely! Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. <laughs> Thank you for fixing everything. Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course. We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Hannah? Hannah? What happened to the Dalmatian? <laughs> Doesn't Cinepup have an incredible voice? And Pitter Pat is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll oh, take you to live with us. Come here, oh, boy. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, oh. <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. Oh.